back in this country, the United States now has more than 85,000 coronavirus cases. Now, that is the most in the world. Among those helping to battle the pandemic are Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and his wife, Dr. Priscilla Chan. In an exclusive interview, Zuckerberg told us about his company's role in the fight. This morning, the couple is also announcing that their charitable group, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, is partnering with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on possible treatments. You know, when we interviewed you a few months ago about CZI, one of the things you said that stood out to me, guys, was what we'd like to do is eliminate all disease in our children's lifetime. Boy, you certainly couldn't have seen anything like this coming. What are you doing specifically to advance that? I'm really proud to share that CZI is going to be joining Gates and others to put together uh, something they're calling the Therapeutics Accelerator to fight coronavirus. They're going to fund a group to screen all the drugs that we know have potential effects against coronavirus. Figuring out drugs is always expensive, um, but philanthropy can do a role in kickstarting this. So we're gonna be contributing $25 million with Gates and others to be able to get this started quickly and now. Part of the idea here is that often a drug can be helpful against multiple diseases. So you can basically take all those drugs that have already been screened as safe and test them to see if they might also have a positive impact for either preventing uh, the coronavirus or reducing the symptoms and making it less damaging. Mark, I look at Facebook, the company, you, you've got something like 45,000 people who are now working at home. Please mm -hmm. tell me the challenges of working with that. We basically have asked everyone to stay home. And even if you can't practically do your work from home, um, we're gonna make sure that you get paid in full for your time through this period. And I hope that that um, can set an example for, for some uh, of the other companies out there. But Mark, um, we don't know how long this period's going to be. That's true, <laughs> but there are a lot of companies that I think um, can afford to take care of their people. Um, and I think we have a responsibility to, to do that. Facebook usage, as you know, is off the charts, but your ad revenue is down, uh, way down. You're talking about in the billions of dollars. Are you rethinking your business model? because of that? No, nothing drastic like that. And look, yes, we, we have an advertising business. I, I do think it will be hit. We're fortunate enough to be um, a larger company that, that has a meaningful cash reserve. Um, and I think we'll be able to weather this and, and do okay. My priorities right now are making sure that we take care of our community. I'm confident that we'll get through this if we do the right thing. Do you see this as an opportunity to rebuild the brand? I, I know certainly over the last few years, a lot of people have had questions about whether um, we've been proactive enough in, in handling different situations. And I think given that history, we, it's especially important for us to show that we can be proactive in handling this well. I'm very proud about how our teams around the world have, have pulled together to support people, getting accurate information, fighting misinformation, supporting small businesses in their recovery, um, making sure that important social and communication services that people rely on to keep in touch with the people they love um, stay stable and running. Mark, talk about bringing people together. D Nice is party the other night on Instagram. He got so excited when he heard you were in the room. What's up, Mark Zuckerberg? Hey, 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 hey. Thanks for letting us rock on. I appreciate that. That was very nice. I was. I mean, look, uh, it, it is really inspiring to see how people are finding ways to come together and support each other, even when we can't be together in person. Well, you all, you two certainly didn't need a pandemic to bring you closer together, but has this led to a more melding of your two lives together? The only adult I can talk to in person, so <laughs> it's a pretty, pretty solid one. But, you know, I would have probably been a little warmer, but you know, it's, I, I would have said you're my favorite person, and if I had to be locked up with anyone, it would be you. And tell me how you get through it. Are you afraid? Are you optimistic? Are you hopeful? Because I think we're living in a time where a lot of people are, you know, to put it bluntly, just terrified. There are so many people working together on this. And I think there are so many people who are reaching out and caring for each other in a way that is beautiful. Um, and there, there's already people who has, have lost their lives and are putting so much into this. I can see, Priscilla, this is making you emotional. I, I'm curious about why. I, it's because I just, I feel so heartened by all the people that are on the front lines taking care of us. And it's not just the doctors, it's the people in the grocery stores, the mail delivery person to make sure we have what we need. And so 
the everyday bravery and hard work and people and the scientists who are, I'm getting emails constantly about people who want to contribute. So I just, all together, that has to mean something. Yeah, wow. Priscilla Chen is a pediatrician by training and, and sees patients. And she said sometimes she actually wonders if she should come to New York and pitch in. But she knows, listen, she has a lot of work to do yeah. in San Francisco. They've got two young daughters, too. So everybody's at home trying to figure it out. And, you know, she thinks that it'll be like Katrina, where we have to have a rebuilding plan. We know that's to come. We're not thinking about that now. But they both have great confidence and great faith. And we keep saying it over and over again that we're in this together and that we will get through this. But going through it is, is, is very daunting. Yeah, and a great effort there to support the search for treatments. Yes, yes. They're giving, putting a lot of money at that. You know, her medical back, background, his tech background, it's a perfect combination of the two. Awesome.